The Sandy Hook massacre left 26 dead. One of the victims, first grader Ben Wheeler. It was full of life. I mean, he was, he had energy that was just beyond belief. Now and Ben's grandfather, that, Carmen, sure is on a mission to build gun safety technology to honor his grandson. It's really my attempt to, uh, you know, memorialize his history. After losing Ben, Carmen had a chance meeting with a man who shares the first name of his lost grandson. I do believe in divine intervention, and I thought my Benny introduced me to this Ben. Ben Tome had a family member who was killed in a gun accident. He's building technology to keep weapons out of the wrong hands. In the U.S., there's 80 million households that own guns, and the statistics say that 22 to 42 percent of those households have, an, have a loaded, unsecured firearm in them. The technology, a biometric locking station for guns. It can only be unlocked by a fingerprint. It's designed to deter. It's designed to prevent access instantaneously. Ben and Carmen's mission for safe gun technology is it's also shared by pleasure. Silicon Valley heavyweights. I do think it's high time that the tech industry step in and use innovation to go solve yet another big problem that exists in society. Investor Ron Conway, along with entrepreneur Jim Pitko, have launched the Smart Tech Challenges Foundation, encouraging entrepreneurs to build technology that makes guns safer. What we want to come out with is an equivalent of a seatbelt uh, safety device for authentication of guns. The foundation will award a million dollars in funding for ideas that could potentially save a life. Carmen and Ben have applied. It's an uphill battle. Carmen struggles with the loss of his grandson every day. But the entrepreneur is determined to match Ben's energy. His energy was, like I said, full on or off. There was nothing in between. I don't think he ever learned to walk. He just ran from one place to another. When you describe him like that, one of the first things that comes to my mind is entrepreneur. Well, I always said, and my daughter has mentioned a couple of times, I said, Ben is going to create great things. I just thought it would be while he was alive. A grandfather's mission for his grandson's legacy. Lori Siegel, CNN Money, Westchester, Pennsylvania.